Hey everyone, today I'm talking about uh, this article that I read and I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, before I get into it though, uh, there is a live stream starting uh, on this channel at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and I will be collaborating with fellow YouTuber and friend Tack Mac. I will put his, um, his YouTube page uh, a link to it in both the description and in the comments so if you want to stop on by and talk Scream 6 with us, talk Blood and Honey from you know obviously Winnie the Pooh, uh, Terrifier, Halloween, Evil Dead Rise, anything you know anything horror, horror related if you want to talk about it with us definitely stop on by again it's starting in about like an hour and 20 minutes that'll be around 4 p.m. Eastern time and we'll probably go for a couple hours um, and so you know even if you join in late definitely you're more than welcome to t come on by and just talk some horror with us anyway let's get into the video let's see at movieweb.com there's an article titled Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey will push things even further than Terrifier 2 promises director and it's authored by Jonathan Fuge. The article came out, it looks like, a few hours ago. So, in the article, Fuge reports a quote from the director and writer of the upcoming Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Um, uh, yes, and that's uh, the director and writer of the Winnie the Pooh horror movie is Rise Frake Waterfield. And he states, and I quote the director states, the main franchises I was thinking of while making this were Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Wrong Turn. I really like Wrong Turn. It's not as big as the other ones, but the first one is on my little list of horror movies that I love. And as we're going into the sequel soon, Terrifier 2 is going to be one of my key references or uh, key reference points. I want to make sure I go as big and epic as they want. Uh, went with that. I want to try and push it even more. That's the end of the quote. I just wanted to share this information with anyone who hadn't seen Terrifier 2 yet, um, you know, but was interested in seeing a horror adaptation of Winnie the Pooh, so uh, it looks like the sequel for Winnie the Pooh is going to be a, even more graphic, even more violent, and um, definitely out there, it looks like. So if you haven't seen Terrifier 2 yet, um, probably give it a watch and, you know, <laughs> check your gauge for uh, <laughs> how much, you know, gore and blood and violence that, you know, you can handle. But anyway, um, I just thought it was interesting as well that it seems Frank Waterfield is that confident that Blood and Honey will be a success, both critically and at the box office. It certainly raises the expectation horror fans have already had for the movie. Um, it certainly raised mine to read that quote. Anyway, again, the stream should be starting in like an hour and 20 minutes roughly. Hope to see you all there. Come talk some horror, uh, horror movies and news with us. Alright, make sure to have a good one.